your question again, Jenny? I'm not. Go ahead. I didn't know that. Jenny just asked me how they knew to count backwards before in like the before Christ era. Like, how did they know to count down to zero? Like, when was he going to be born? Exactly. How did they know? <laughs> they didn't know to count. Well, I didn't know it went backwards. <laughs> She's so pretty. Hmm? She's so pretty. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny's in her happy place here. I saw my face full of pizza. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm here in the academia. Uh, the gallery that hosts David, you can see him right behind me. 17 foot tall, <clears throat> famous statue made in uh, 1502 by Michelangelo. Uh, he was 26 years old when he commissioned the work. Um, a lot of people were bidding on it or at least consulting on it, including Da Vinci himself. <clears throat> but 26 year old Michelangelo won the bid. Uh, it took him two years. His shop was only half a mile from the piazza where it was initially displayed. And it was so big it took them four days to drag it the half mile to the plaza where it lived outside uh, up until the 1800s, so 300 years before it was moved inside. There's debate as to whether it's David before or after his fight with Goliath, and he's kind of just got this sly pose with his, uh, his hand and the sling or his back with the rock in his, in his other hand. Yeah, he's just kind of gazing, sort of like threateningly, I think, off to the side. And they said they had that pointed, when it was in the plaza, they had that his eyes pointed towards Rome because Florence was supposed to be this uh, sovereign city-state and they felt they were getting all kinds of pressure from outside of uh, Florence and they had David gazing directly at Rome, sort of threateningly. Uh, in 1991, his left toes were smashed in by some lunatic with a hammer. So now there's pretty tight security getting in here, they scanned everything, but it's just amazing how he can make it. Everything seem like human flesh, like, it's crazy. Really beautiful. Alright, just left the Academia, and I thought it was awesome. It was super small, so I got to see the whole thing in about less than an hour. I'm more into the history, and that gallery kind of has a lot of that. I just think it's cool to walk around in this city and imagine Michelangelo working on that, you know, in the 1500s, way before he was a Ninja Turtle. I came alone, Jenny probably crushing pizza at home. I'm gonna go join her. And that means I'm also going to get lost in the city because Jenny is the navigator. Okay, I got it. We found the nice side of the Duomo. Yeah, the first stone was laid on September 9th of 1296. Then the first guy died, like, I don't know, for many years later. And then work slowed for at least 30 years, I didn't even do anything with it. And they didn't even complete the outside until 1887. So over 500 years. It's pretty crazy. What do you think? It's a good partial wash. <laughs> Bruno Lessi. This is the architect of the Duomo, and this is a statue of him looking up at his work. It's not very far. She took her pants off. Look how cute she is with her little headscarf thing. Okay, we found a market for lunch. Is it good? We need half of it. 
Ponte Vecchio right behind us. There. Nine, since nine what? 966. It's been spanning the Arno River behind us and um, it's the only one that wasn't destroyed by the Nazis in World War II. Nice sunset behind you starting. But the star of the show. Florence. Wow. Here in Florence, we spent one full day here. Jam packed it yesterday. We started with, or I started with the um, Academia, saw the Statue of David. I slept in. And then we walked all around the old area here and saw the churches. We saw the Duomo, Ponte Vecchio. I saw the replica of the David statue, which I felt pretty comfortable with, that it was cool. It was very similar. Yeah. Even had all his toes intact, so maybe a bit better. Yeah. Yeah, I think Florence is kind of like an outdoor sculpture gallery. We oh, it's crazy. For free. Everywhere we you saw. look, yeah. beautiful sculptures, columns. Old buildings, Old streets. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, and then we wandered up to the mm. Piazzale Michelangelo, where you get that awesome sunset, uh, golden hour view of the entire city. Well, before that, we went and got a box of wine. And <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> half a kilo worth of peanuts. <laughs> we know where we come from. <laughs> and sat on the steps of an old church in a little plaza and just drank our wine and eat, ate our peanuts. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and then we walked up the steps to see the sunset. Had two amazing pizza dinners. Pizzaioli, I would say, is the best pizza in Florence. I agree. And P Gusta Pizza mm -hmm. was maybe number two of two. Really good, though. And now, <laughs> like the starving travelers we are, we're waiting for a sandwich shop to open that we heard was really good. One minute, good. Sarah and Ian said it was the best, that she still dreams about it. So uh, they open in one minute around the corner, so we're just waiting. <laughs> Says she still dreams about the sandwich that she got here. That's for you, Zara. <laughs> What'd you get? Spicy salami? Spicy salami, spicy cheese, and onion jam. Oh, good breakfast sandwich. <laughs> if I can suggest you a really cool place if you have time and want to go and drive, is that there's a place is Saturnia. Okay. That's the word uh, natural hot spring. Alright, we're in the rental car. Traffic bump. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to have a manual car, but we have a hybrid automatic manual car, I think. There's no clutch, but you still have to shift only up, but not down, which makes sense. And um, the car stops when you stop, like turns off. So. When you start again, it sounds like you're stalling, but you have to just give it a second. How you feeling, Dan? Yeah, learning as we go here. Yawning. So we found out there was a automatic mode on this puppy. Which it's, not, it's not as good as I was. Mm, that's debatable. Okay, we are early to our first Airbnb in Tuscany, but I think we'll be fine just kicking it and waiting here because here's our view. These are our hosts. <laughs> Facciamo un giorno America, un giorno America e un, un giorno Canada. Canada. One day America, one day Canada. Perfect, perfect, yeah, perfect. Yeah. perfect so. They put domani, up the flag for us. Domani, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Domani, yeah. Mm -hmm. tomorrow. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Grazie yeah. mille. It's a beautiful look at that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're 
we're here in Tuscany. Morning run. Tuscan countryside in the background. Uh, crisp fall day. Weather dropped like 10 degrees from when we started our drive. But, yeah, couldn't have a better spot to run. So today is Canada Day at our Airbnb. So he put the Canada flag up, but it's in a bit of trouble. Oh, it's upside down. That's better. How many scratches? Five and then you bite the shit out of me? Yeah, five. It's Thanksgiving! In Tuscany! Well, Dan woke up today and decided that today was Thanksgiving. I don't know why, but I wasn't going to argue with it because I love Thanksgiving. Um, we felt a big weather change when we got here. It got kind of cold and a little fall feeling and the, the leaves changed. So I figured, why not do Thanksgiving dinner Tuscan style? So for the antipasto dish, we're actually going to do leftover uh, manzanella salad that I made for lunch. That was just some fresh tomatoes, cucumber, and a crusty bread. A nice little dressing. Oh, it doesn't probably look as good as it. Insert picture, <laughs> insert picture from before. <laughs> and then for the creamy piatti, or the pasta um, dish, we're gonna just do some Airbnb leftover pasta options uh, with a fresh lemon and leek dressing sauce. Um, and then for the main, or the <laughs> secondi, um, we got these really nice, very thinly sliced beef cuts that we're gonna um, bread and pan fry and put a little bit of tomato sauce over it. With some braised, I think this is kale. I'm gonna do like some braised kale in a pan with a little bit of the side here. Yay, Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, and Dan, you can talk about yours. And what are we drinking? Special wine. You can talk about that. This is our fancy wine. Allora. This is a 2011 Brunello di Montalcino. According to my panicked Google search in the store, it's a really good vintage. So happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We're kind of doing it in between the Canadian and the American ones because we're in Italy. Let's go. Okay, car's packed up. We're on to, where are we going? Par Paris. Paris. Not Paris. Not Paris, P-A-R-I. But we have a two hour drive through beautiful Tuscany Hills. <clears throat> Excited? All right, let's go. Get your banana. on Lost Luggage. We continue our tour through Tuscany, tasting fine wines, crossing through the Val d'Ocia, and visiting the archaeological site Pompeii. 